It's high school, just another fun day where we all dress the same and we love it. It's high school where the teachers are nice and no one has lice and we love class. Evangeline, welcome to high school. Now we're all best friends. This is not what happened. They say pain plus time equals comedy. <sighs> it might still be too soon to talk about this, but I've already started. So here's the story. In case you didn't know, I grew up being a YouTuber. This video explains that part of my life. Being a YouTuber and a kid actor meant I was working. So I had to be homeschooled. I haven't been to real school in seven years. I was in first grade. All I remember about school is kids eating glitter glue and picking their nose. Actually, that still happens in high school. My parents are very eccentric people and they were even more weird as my homeschool teachers. They taught me all kinds of stuff. Just maybe not stuff you'd learn in regular school. I'm not saying I'm dumb, but I'm not saying I'm smart either. Uh oh. For example, my mom loves history. She would teach me the normal people and wars you learn about, but then she'd choose some random lesser known person, like Clara Barton, and do a deep dive into her life. Sometimes we would even take trips to see where the history lessons actually took place. And my dad wasn't any better. For math, he'd teach me regular algebra and fractions, but then he'd make me learn about finances and 401ks and compounding interest. I'm a teenager. I've got like maybe 20 bucks. That's like only one penny in interest for the whole year. But I didn't know I was living the good life until last Christmas when this happened. Merry Christmas! You're, You're going, going back, back to, to school. school! Thanks for ruining Christmas, parents. I only had a few days to get used to this new forced school lifestyle. And when I asked my parents why they were torturing me, they said, we want you to have the high school experience. They're ruining my life because they want me to join a club or get bullied or have permanent back pain from carrying a backpack around that weighs more than an elephant? I don't need to go to a school dance. I don't even like dancing. The next few weeks, I worried about all the horrible things that were probably gonna happen to me at high school. I eventually decided to have a positive attitude because no matter how much I worried, there was no changing my fate. Instead, I focused my thoughts on the most important thing I could think of. My first day outfit. I wanted to fit in and make a good first impression. I thought the perfect outfit could help me be in a good group. But I didn't know anything about how people dress in high school. So to be safe, I came up with my teenager starter kit. Black Converse, black hoodie, and pajama pants. For that, just roll out of bed look. Side tangent. The pressure to fit in is real. I almost fell for it. You should never change who you are, what you like to do, or what you like to wear just to fit in. Be the real you, and the right friends will find you. I decided on an outfit that was more my style. My fashion is usually a mix of grunge meets artsy. I don't know. I like it. It's me. But what I should have worn was this. My first day of high school, it rained the whole day. 8 a.m., school starts. 8.05, I was a gross, soggy mess. I'm an introvert, so going to a school full of strangers is already my nightmare. I don't know anyone, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, and did I mention it was raining? My mom told me to take an umbrella. Nuh-uh, I know that's not cool. Although, looking back, maybe I should've, so I could've Mary Poppins my way out of there. Later, losers! You might think I'm complaining too much about the rain. Hear me out. I live in California, and because people think it's sunny all the time, someone decided, Hey, let's save some money and make the whole school be outside. That's brilliant! 
We'll call it an outdoor canvas. But what happens when it rains? It'll be hilarious watching all those soggy teenagers suffer. <laughs> My school is this maze of little buildings for classrooms with no numbers on them. So the whole day, I felt lost. Like in some retro game of Pac-Man with only my soggy map to guide me. Until the map got so wet, it disintegrated. And since I had no idea where I was going, I was late to every class. Do you know what happens when you're late to class? Everyone turns to look at you. Do you see this face? This disgusted look? Every door I opened, the whole class turned in unison to stare at me. That does not make the new student feel welcome. After my second class, I was ready to go home. Thankfully, I had a lunch break before having to go back to the rainy outdoor maze. Now, I've watched a lot of teen movies, so I know lunch in the cafeteria is supposed to be the best part of the school day. Food fights, getting invited to sit at the mean girls table, impromptu musical numbers. It's high school where nobody eats the mystery meat or they'll regret it. This school has no lunch tables. They expect us to sit outside and eat in the rain. Did I mention it was raining all day? I brought my own lunch because I've heard horror stories about cafeteria food. I had even worked up the courage to sit at a table full of strangers. I had told myself that under no circumstance was I to eat alone in the bathroom. Can you give me some toilet paper? I ate the mystery meat. Don't eat the mystery meat! Ah! I wound up going to the gym to eat. When I walked in the door, the smell was so bad, I needed a gas mask just to take a bite of my PBJ. The freshman boys smelled like cavemen. So, I decided to eat outside. I spent the rest of my day navigating from class to class, trying to avoid eye contact. I was so drenched by the end of the day that I didn't need a shower for a week. There were so many things I wasn't expecting on my first day of school. Like, no lockers? So you have to carry all of your stuff with you all day. And asking to go to the bathroom, but the teacher says no? I don't understand. Do you want the students to pee on the ground? That's weird. But there was one good thing that happened to me on the first day. A student recognized me for my videos and helped me out. At first, she wondered why I was at her school. But then I explained my parents were torturing me with having a high school experience. Apparently, she also has parents who'd like to torture her. So shout out to Cindy. Thanks for being a real one. If it wasn't for her being so nice and introducing me to people, I don't think I ever would have gone back after that first horrible day. Let's just hope my sophomore year isn't as rainy. I try a lot of different fashion looks, but that's nothing compared to the wild style of my plushies. If you're curious about the secret lives of my stuffed animals, then click on this next video. And if you don't like plushies, well, I promise you will after watching their ridiculous adventures.